Do you ever find yourself using overly simplistic models just because it's easy to plug right into them? Do you ever wish you can do integrals by throwing darts at a dartboard? Does the idea of ordering thousands of customers, information packets, or even molecules through your favorite network sound like a power trip that you can get behind? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you're in the right place. to go out on a limb here and say that almost everything you model involves randomness. Even things, for example, like uh, things that follow laws of physics, that follow hard and fast rules and should not involve randomness, probably do in the form of measurement error. So you need randomness in your modeling. Let's talk briefly about that overly simplistic model thing I mentioned at the beginning. Imagine you have a server, an actual person at a desk or a cash register, and people lining up for service. The typical assumptions for this kind of queuing model is that the times between arrivals for the customers follow an exponential distribution, that they're independent and identically distributed exponential random variables with some rate. Also, that the service times of the server for each customer, those are independent and identically distributed exponential random variables with potentially some other rate. And another assumption that we usually have in the basic queuing model is that no one is reacting to the system. So the server is not looking off in the distance and saying, the line is getting really long, I better speed up or slow down. If you want to know the expected or average amount of time a typical customer will spend waiting in line in this system, I can tell you that exactly. I can work it out on paper with mathematics and analytic mathematics and symbols, and I can give you an exact answer, and I don't need to use any sort of numerical approximation. But if we want the server to start reacting to what's going on in the line, I probably can't. So what do we do? Do we ignore the fact that the server is reacting to the length of the line so that we can use the original model where everything is nice and known and we have solutions? Or do we put in that maybe more realistic idea that the server is reacting to the line and get by with approximate but highly accurate answers from simulation? I can't answer this question for you, but if you choose to go with simulation, I can give you the tools you're going to need. In order to follow this course, you're going to need to know already about random variables, probability, density, functions, expectations, or expected values, and be familiar with some basic probability distributions like the binomial distribution, for example. And even a vague passing familiarity with these things is okay. You're going to be okay. In this course, we're going to simulate in either Python or R. It's your choice. And if you don't know either of these, or you know one and you want to know the other, we will start from the ground up. So stick around. In the next video, we're going to talk about what it means to simulate from a distribution. I'll see you in the next one.